What's going on everybody? It's King Starscream here. Today I got another special video for you guys. I'm going to be heading out on another trip. This time I'm going to be hitting up two parks. We're going to be going back to Universal Studios and we're going to go to Disneyland for the first time. We're going to be spending two days at each park and this is also a special trip for me because I'm going to be asking my girlfriend of seven years to marry me so I'm pretty excited about that. She also has no idea that we're going to be in LA for six days. I asked her boss in advance for the days off for her so it's going to be a pretty exciting trip so let's go ahead and hit that subscription button for me and we'll jump on into this. All right, everybody. So to make this trip, we had to go from Stockton to Sacramento Airport. My grandparents gave us a ride, so thank you very much to them. And like I said, my girlfriend had no idea what was going on, so I did make a video and played it for her. It's linked below in the description if you want to check it out. I also gave her a Funko Pop as an inside joke between her and I because she gave me one when we went to Universal the first time. All right, so after I revealed everything, we got some dinner and then boarded the plane. It did start raining while it was flying, so that was kind of crazy, but everything looked pretty cool up there. We made it safely and got checked into our hotel and got ready for the next day. And then when we did arrive at City Walk the next day, everything was beautiful. It was all christmas up. It looked awesome. We got some breakfast uh, for VIP because it was complimentary. So we were on this balcony just kind of sitting up here waiting to go in the park. We checked out the park because we had to waste a bunch of time. Uh, our VIP experience was at 1. So we did a few rides and then uh, saw a few characters and stuff like that. It was a pretty awesome experience. and. Um, you know, I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anybody but her. <laughs> I know that sounds cheesy, but it's the truth. And then, um, you know, we saw dinosaurs and stuff like that, so it was pretty awesome. There we go. <laughs> All right. Merry Christmas, boss. Happy holidays. Yeah. Good, good. We did take tons of pictures and everything before our VIP, and then we boarded our VIP trip. Well, we are on the studio tour, but the VIP one, but check this shit out. It's just us, bro. There's nobody else. Yo, look at her taking a picture of us. Right on. The VIP trip was pretty awesome, too, because we got to go on the back lot and see things that you don't normally see on the regular trips. So that was pretty awesome. And we got to learn a little bit more about the stuff. Decommissioned Boeing 747. It's an old one because, if you look carefully enough, you can see some of the ashtrays that are still on the seats. And they had to move it from the crash site set that we're seeing right now. And it looked just like this in the movie. There were no dead bodies in the airplane. And you can see the roof is missing to it. <laughs> How you doing, Scoob? Love you, man. So after a long day, we finished off with this beautiful, you know, light show on the Hogwarts castle. It was really awesome. Um, I suggest you guys go in Christmas time. We had a wonderful time. We were VIP, so we had a really good spot, but it wasn't too expensive. If you guys want to try out the VIP, I do suggest that because overall it was very awesome and worth the money for sure. So we saw all the lights and then uh, headed back to the city walk. We did get a bunch of stuff lit up at night, which was pretty awesome. Got some dinner and then, you know, headed back home for the evening to get ready for day two. So, hope you guys enjoyed day one. We're going to jump right into day two right now. Alright, so day two started off. We were getting some souvenirs for T's mom. We got these little soap cupcakes. We're pretty cute. Then we had some crepes. Headed into the park and we both met the Grinch. It was a pretty fun experience, but it was raining all day, so... We really were kind of keeping it light that day. I did do a few rides. I did like some Harry Potter stuff and all that. But like I said, it was raining. T didn't really feel up for it, which was fine. And uh, we took a lot of pictures, but we did keep it a light day because we were preparing for Disney the next day.
All right, so the very first ride we ever did at Disneyland was Star Wars Smuggler's Run, and I gotta say, I love this ride. I can't show it in its entirety, but I am gonna show a little clip. Let's go get that coax out. Right, pilot, make the jump to light speed. Boots hit it. So after that we were in an area we shouldn't have been and then we got on the boat We rode around the boat and uh, we were just kind of trying to relax at this point We were a little tired from two days at Universal, so we were trying to take it easy But I do like this boat ride. There's a lot of cool stuff to see but um, I gotta tell you guys as soon as I hit this bend right here, I started getting a little anxious to ask her to marry me, and then I decided it was time to make my move. So what I did was we got off the boat, and I took her to the front of the castle, and I set up the tripod like we were going to take pictures. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of it. I tried to trick her uh, to get her attention away from the uh, camera here. She She's hard to trick, man, so she kept looking and stuff. You'll see me trying to point away and all that. But... Um, this is the moment I do ask her to marry me, so I hope you guys enjoy. So those of you watching are probably aware that the footage got blurry and yes, we were upset about it We were actually gonna redo the whole thing, but it wasn't gonna be a genuine one. I didn't really want that either um, The people clapping and stuff at the end was really nice So I didn't want like some fake clapping or anything and I know this is cheesy, but You know the future is not bright, but at the end of it, it's just me and her so you know this is kind of a metaphor for what marriage is you know like at the end of the day just us two matter no matter what's going on behind us so yeah that was a pretty cool little moment we had so keep watching for the rest of uh, our trip at Disney after getting engaged we took a little break and sat down and talked about it and looked at all of our pictures and then we continued on with the day watching some of the parades and stuff we got on this little train and you know we rode it around twice just to rest our legs and look at all the stuff that was on the tour and then we headed back to Star Wars to get some uh, more Star Wars rides in and we did get to see Kylo Ren so that was pretty cool Get off the ship now. Whoa. Straight down the corridor. Utilize either side. Oh, if anyone's making a blaster, now's the 
good time. This can cause the boards. Why are you going up? I said down, up is bad. Up is real bad. did Haunted Mansion last and then we called it a night so I hope you guys are ready for another day. So day four started with us going on the Ferris wheel and then we did Little Mermaid and a few other rides. I like Little Mermaid I'm not gonna lie it was a pretty cool ride. I liked the movie when I was a kid. Anyways then we did some Avengers stuff. We did like Spider-Man and all that kind of stuff and uh we ended up going back into Disney Park and finishing out with It's a Small World and then we called it quits and then went home and had dinner. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's been King Starscream here. Please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get a thousand subs so if you want to hit that button for me I'd really appreciate it. And sorry this video took so long to upload but hey here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been King Starscream here. Like always remember your training and stay safe out there. What's gonna happen to us, boys?